what are some of the go-to medications that we can describe uh, that what are some of the go-to medications that doctors prescribe when it comes to helping patients lose weight? Yeah, there's there are medications that have been used for weight loss for quite some time, which we try, like phenamine and Orlistat and other medications like that. Then there are some of the newer medications, the GLP-1s, for instance, the medicines that have the dual effect of helping with weight loss and helping with type 2 diabetes mellitus, two of the three reasons people get fatty liver in the first place. And they are very promising, by the way. Now, if you said, are they approved for the fatty liver part for these patients? The answer is, as of now, no. But there are phase three trials ongoing right now, looking at various GLP-1 medications, specifically looking at the fatty liver aspect that they that they are potentially treating. And I can tell you the results to date are very, very promising. So certainly, I think if a patient has type 2 diabetes mellitus and they're overweight, I do recommend right now for patients to follow up with their primary care doctor or their endocrinologist, and that if it's appropriate for a particular patient, that a GLP-1 medication is considered because not only does it help their diabetes, not only does it help their weight loss, but at least in preliminary studies, it seems that it will help their fatty liver as well. Are we finding that patients are mostly coming in already on GLP-1s? And since it hasn't been approved for fatty liver, if they aren't already on GLP-1s, how does that, uh, I'm guessing they would have to be prescribed that elsewhere, not in the Yes, yeah, some of them come in on GLP ones just because it's so they're so commonly used now. Um, and when patients have type two diabetes mellitus and are overweight, their doctors understand that it will help those two things. But many, many, many patients are have di- type two diabetes mellitus and are obese and are not on those medications. Uh, sometimes because the medications are difficult to obtain, you know, insurance is not certain insurances are not that supportive of those medications right now. And other times because the doctors don't really, uh, their providers, I don't know if they recognize the benefit. So I, again, in my notes to providers, many times, if a patient is appropriate, state that a GLP-1 might be considered by a primary care physician or an endocrinologist in patients with those factors, if their provider thinks those are appropriate medications because they might have benefit to their liver also. 